Okay, before we get in there, let me hear it again. I am so happy that you and my mother have found each other. That is terrible. I don't believe a word of that. Because it is not true. I don't want the pastor dating my mother. He needs to feel we are on his side, so he lets his guard down. Then I will seduce him and prove that he's just another dirty dog. How? <laughs> By offering him these fresh biscuits. Come in. Those are fresh. <laughs> Hello, Kimmy. I'm in Sola. Hello, Pastor. Can we speak to you? Of course. Sit down. <sighs> what can I do for you? Well, Abishola has something to say. How could you, a man of God, be carrying on with a married woman? She's also very happy for you. I understand your concern, but I assure you, nothing inappropriate has occurred. You spend the whole church service making eyes at my mother. I cannot deny that I have feelings for a boon. And why deny your feelings? If you see something you want, you take it. <laughs> Abishola, I am sorry. I never expected this to happen. But your mother is a remarkable woman. Smart, funny, kind. My mother. I, I was hoping on some level that you of all people might understand. What is that supposed to mean? You also worry in an unhappy marriage and fell in love with another. What do you know about it? Your mother told me all about you and Bob. You have never been afraid to take risks in order to be happy. She admires your courage. Really? <laughs> she may not speak those words to you, but believe me, they are in her heart. Yes. The big, pitying, bouncy heart. <laughs> Anything? No? Okay, we're leaving. <laughs>